Jennifer Batten here with some tour tips. Uh, I think number one is to get the app called What's Around Me because once you arrive in a place you can tap in and find Starbucks or coffee shops or restaurants or pharmacies uh, because you're in a place you don't know so it's very helpful. I will tell you it'll probably have you walking a block in the wrong direction before it figures out oh you're going that way make a U-turn. <laughs> Just a little more exercise for you. Uh, make sure your frequent flyer cards are active so you always get credit for wherever you fly to. Uh, staying healthy is is really tough uh, unless you're demanding. You know if you're a vegetarian or gluten free like like Uli you have to demand that and there's a lot of extra effort made in, in making those things happen. Because um, it's really easy to get into the habit of just pizzas because it's easy and quick and it's, it'll catch up with you and it'll zap your energy and drag you down. Same as alcohol, which is very normal to have after a show, but if you start doing that every night, again, it's really going to drag your body down and your energy is not going to be optimal. Be kind to people. It's always, actually, it's, it's always a very smart thing when you get to a venue to befriend the people that are working there. It just makes things go smoother and especially with the sound guys, local guys. If, I've heard many stories of people that are unkind to them, and guess what happens to your sound during the show? <laughs> that's not the only reason to be friendly, but that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, living on a bus with other people, you really need to be conscious of people other than yourself. When it comes to cleaning up, um, or any other little housekeeping chores, you, you're not the only one living here. On our bus, I'm constantly kicking people's asses. For instance, today, I found the bus was unlocked and there was a MacBook Pro on the couch. Not good. You, 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 gotta, you gotta keep things locked constantly. Because a lot of times we're playing downtown, a lot of questionable people around the bus. So that's very, very important. In fact, um, you know, we're living on the bus, so there's, there's always somebody here, but so many bands get ripped off. They get their trailers ripped off. And nowadays there's really reasonably priced GPS trackers that you can put in just one piece of gear and if it if the trailer gets ripped off you, you get an alert on your smartphone you tell the cops exactly where it is and you get your stuff back so that's that's not very commonly done yet but it really needs to be